Ya estamos aquí, estamos en el Blockstock y tenemos todo un día por delante para aprender y para pasárselo bien. Como apenas tengo experiencia como blogger, lo que voy a hacer en el Blockstock es escuchar las recomendaciones de toda la gente del sector. Os dejo con algunas de ellas. Great to meet you and have you here and uh, my advice for you and for everyone is to keep it personal, be you. And let me explain that because no one is more qualified than you to telling us about you or showing your view of the world. That's what's beautiful about now. It's not just one voice dictating to the world, one fascist telling everyone how to think. Everyone has a voice now. And so be yourself because you know your opinion better than anyone else in the world. Uh, my blog is Trap Monkey um, and I kind of recommend experimenting with things online. So if there's a new social media network or there's some new technology out there, I think making the first move and being one of the first people to actually try it and, and, and getting in there and getting some followers and getting some experience in there and using it first is kind of going to give you a foothold in kind of being an influencer on one of those networks and potentially it will give your blog a unique aspect to it as well. you're writing look at other people's blogs and see what your own writing style is and just keep practicing and then you can write better how do you say thank you ask her how do you say thank you, thank you. Thank you. no thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good. Hi, I'm Jess. My blog is Love in London, and my tip for you is when you're blogging to make sure you take tons of pictures of everything while you're traveling around, but not just pictures of the landscape and of the food you're eating, but also mm -hmm. make sure that you take pictures that you're actually in, uh -huh. so that your readers can see who you are and connect with you and kind of get a sense of your personality, uh -huh. um, and it just makes picture a little bit more interesting. So definitely make sure you're in a lot of the pictures as well. Okay, thank you very much. And now. My name's Thomas uh, William. I've uh, got a blog about um, IT integration in education, um, and I think the I think the most important thing is to is to keep your level of honesty, even um, even sometimes when you're saying things that can be quite critical, because um, I think over a long time. Um, people learn to trust you because you're you know if you're only ever saying good things good things good things I think people realize that that's not real life uh -huh. and that, you know I think it's important to have sometimes to be quite critical um, of some of the newer things that come out um, if you don't like them and you just don't think they work um, but always make sure that that's constructive criticism it's not just I think this is awful there's a bit more backing to, to what you say I think and then it just means you're uh, your audience, I think, just starts to starts to rely upon your opinion and trust it. But I think you, you, you know, it takes a while to build that up. The thing I look for when reading travel and about travel experiences mm -hmm. is that um, they're funny. Oh, um, yeah. So they connect with my own personal humour, which is quite sarcastic. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite um, quite a personal thing for me to read in my, my own time. Um, particularly with video, uh -huh. when I watch video online, the reason I do it uh -huh. um, is not there's a little bit for the information, but a lot for the person who's delivering the information okay. and their personality coming through. When I read the blog, I want to um, read um, accurate and concise information. Um, I want to read it that's interesting, tell me what's the, um, what the, um, the structure or the event is about.
occasionally read them um, and they tend to be more lifestyle blogs so um, the ones that I like are they tend to have a lot of pictures okay um, like really nice photography um, and not too much text so I do write a blog myself I write about London in Spanish and um, so I try to give like a very as Olivia is saying, non-touristy point of view, so things that Spanish people will not expect to find in London. Mm -hmm. um, and also as a non-blogger, I would say I do read lots of travel blogs because I work in public relations, so I need to be informed. And I really like, I don't mind text, I really like videos, like short videos on Instagram and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I would also say try to find things that are not very... Uh, touristy but also get the right balance because people want to see the sites but they also want to find probably maybe you always go and see the sites and I, I'm very interested in places that are for food and drink that are different and a little bit hidden uh, so I will always try to find the local places to eat um, and drink Okay. and also I really like to talk to locals and people who live in the city and ask them in advance and ask them what would you do what's your favorite day in your city what would you recommend Okay. You've been here forever, okay. um, so I really like when people who live in the place okay. give you recommendations. I think you're going to like the Expedia Pioneer blog. That's good. I, I look forward to seeing it. I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> Thank you very much, girls. No worries. No worries. <laughs> My advice would be to write regularly and always keep it on message. It's a good idea. Really, I don't know. I really have idea. If you decide to work with brands or travel companies, I'll suggest you do the research and make sure that the brands you want to work with are aligned with your blog, your messaging and your own editorial line. <laughs> Poco a poco se va acabando la jornada aquí en el Blogstock. Hemos aprendido, nos hemos divertido y nos hemos quedado con ganas de mucho más, de que toda esta comunidad de blogueros comparta su conocimiento con nosotros. ¡Vamos! Keep it real, keep it honest and um, keep talking about what you love to talk about.